Hello students, welcome to class 6 computer science. So the chapter we are going to begin to with today is the chapter called computer language. So let us try to understand what language means. So what is a language? A language is a medium of communication. So I am speaking to you in the language English. That means I am communicating with you in the language English. Suppose you want a pen from your father. You can say to your father like, Papa, mujhe ek pen chahiye. So, whenever you are speaking to your parents or you are speaking to anyone else, that means what you are doing, you are communicating with that particular purpose, with that particular person. So, what is language? It is a medium of communication with the help of language we can share our feelings and we can exchange various messages so the language that we speak or write or to communicate with others is known as natural language so this english language hindi language assamese language bengali language so all this language that we speak to communicate with others these languages are known as natural language so, what are the some examples of natural language? Some examples of natural languages are English, it may be Hindi, it may be Assamese, and there, may, there are various other natural languages which we use to communicate with people. But here we are studying computer science, but the problem is that computers cannot understand natural language. Computers understand only one type of language which is known as the machine language. So let us try to understand it better with the help of an example. So let's say there are three computers and let's say you are trying to communicate with the computer in Hindi. But Hindi is a natural language. Computers cannot understand natural language. So computer understands only machine language. So your communication will be unsuccessful. Let's say you are trying to communicate with the computer in English, but, compu but English is a natural language and computers cannot understand natural language. Computers can understand only machine language. So in this case also, the communication will be unsuccessful. Therefore, I have shown it with the help of a cross. Now, suppose you are speaking machine language to the computer. Can computer understand machine language? Yes, computer can understand machine language. Therefore, your communication will be successful. Communication will be successful means what? Communication will be successful means whatever you are saying to the computer can be understood by the computer. Let us move forward and try to understand the concept of program. Before going to the technical details of program, let us Try to understand how tea is made. I hope most of you know how to make tea. If not, you can just see here. I'll be explaining you how to make tea. So for that, what you will require? You will require a saucepan. You will require some water. And then you have to put the water in the saucepan. And then you will require some sugar. Then you will require some tea leaves. And after that, you need to Put it in the saucepan and what you need to do, you need to boil it. So after boiling it, what you will get? You will get a cup of hot red tea. So while making this red tea, what we have done is that we have followed some steps. So what were the steps? At first we have taken the saucepan, then we have taken the glass of water and then put it in the saucepan and then we have taken the sugar then we have we have put it in the saucepan and then we have taken the tea leaves and then we have mixed everything and we have boiled it after boiling we have got the cup of tea so here we are using certain steps to make tea similarly for communicating with the computer we need to give it some instructions so the set of instruction which tells the computer what to do is known as program. So what is a program? A program is a set of instructions which tells the computer what to do. So with the help of program, we can communicate with the 
computer and we can ask the computer to do certain tasks. Now, let's go to the next concept which is the concept of programming. So, suppose you are writing some programs in the computer. So, if you are writing some programs in the computer, then what you are doing? You are doing programming. So, what is programming? The process of writing specific instruction in a computer language is called programming. Let's go to the next concept which is programmers. So, if your job is to do programming, then you are known as a programmer. So, the people who does programming are known as programmers. So, now let us go to the types of computer languages. So, what are the different type of computer languages? The different type of computer languages are number one, machine language, number two, assembly language, number three, high level language and number four is the fourth generation language. In today's part, we will be discussing about machine language. So, let us go to machine language. So, what is machine language? The language that a computer understands is known as machine language. So, this is the language which a computer understands. So, it is the only language that a computer understands. This is a very important point. Computer cannot understand any other language except the machine language. So, it is expressed with the help of only two digits 0 and 1. So, for writing something in machine language, only two digits are used. What are those two digits? Those two digits are 0 and 1. 0 means off state and 1 means on state. Okay, so 0 means off and 1 means on. So, all instructions are given by the combination of these two digits only. So, whatever we want the computer to communicate or whatever instructions we are giving to the computer in machine language we will be giving with only with the help of these two digits that are 0 and 1. Machine language is also known as binary language. So, by means 2 since the machine language consists only of these two digits 0 and 1 Therefore, machine language is also known as your binary language. It is also known as first generation language. So, there are different generations of language. Out of that, machine language is known as the first generation language. Why? Because it was the first language that was developed. It is also known as low level language. There is another name for machine language which is first generation language there is one more name for machine language which is low level language so let us try to understand the previous example again so if you are communicating with the computer in machine language your communication will be successful why because a computer understands machine language so let us try to understand the advantages of machine language so, what are the advantages of machine language? The first advantage is that it has a very, very high speed. Why it has a very high speed? Because we are directly communicating with the computer in the language in which it understands. For example, uh, let us try to understand it this way. Suppose this is you, this is your friend. So, let's say you understand Hindi and your friend has come from Bangalore. So, let's say he understands Tamil but not Hindi. So, will both of you be able to talk to each other? No, both of you will not be able to talk to each other. So, what is the method in which both of you will be able to talk to each other? For talking to each other, you will require a third person who knows both Hindi and Tamil. So, what you will do? So, you will at first say your things in Hindi, then that person will be translating your Hindi words into Tamil words. But let's understand one more thing. Let's say your, so this will take some time. Yes, it will take some time. But let's say you understand Hindi and your friend also understands 
Hindi. Now, is there a requirement of any third person here? No, there is no requirement of any third person in this case. Therefore, your communication will be faster. So, since machine language is the language which the computer understands directly, no translator there means that there is no third party which is required for explaining the things or translating the things in machine language because we are interacting with the computer directly in machine language. So, if we are interacting directly in the language in which the computer understands, then the speed will obviously be high. So, this is the first advantage of machine language. What is the second advantage? Its memory utilization is very less. Since no, since directly we are communicating in machine language, therefore, the memory that it will take up will be very less. It requires no translator to translate the code. So, if you remember the example, when was translator required? Translators were required if both the persons do not understand the same language. But if both the persons understand the same language, that is Hindi, then there is no translator required. Similarly, here, if we are in talking to the computer directly in the language in which it understands, then no translator is required. This is the third adv advantage of machine language. But there are certain disadvantages also of machine language. What are the disadvantages? So, the first disadvantage is that understanding and learning machine language is tough and tiresome process. It is very difficult to learn and understand machine language. For example, suppose, let's say, uh, I'm writing here, hello. Can you understand? Hello? Yes. Can it be remembered easily? Yes. But for writing hello in machine language, let's say we require this. So, is remembering hello easier or remembering this particular language is easier? Obviously, remembering hello is much easier as compared to remembering this. So, previously when only machine language were available, normal people were not able to communicate with the computer. Normal people means, I mean computer literates. Only computer, uh, computer illiterates, computer illiterates were not able to communicate with computers. But now, even with a very little knowledge, people can communicate with the computer. So, if had there been no other languages developed, then we would not have been able to communicate it with computers. Why? Because understanding and learning machine language is very tough. So, see, for one simple word hello there are there is so many digits so not only hello word is there there are various other words so for those words also very big big codes will be there therefore what we can say is that understanding and learning machine language is tough and a tiresome process next is it's a machine dependent language for different computers the languages will be different so, for example, you have learned machine language properly for one computer. So, after three years, let's say your computer has become bad and you have purchased a different computer. Then you have to learn a different type of machine language. That means for the new computer, the machine language will be a little bit different. It will be made up only of zeros and ones only, but the codes will be different. Therefore, it is a machine dependent language. Machine dependent language means for different machines, you have to learn different codes. So, now let's try to understand three cases. Let's say this is you and you know Tamil and this is your friend and your friend understands Hindi. So, can the communication happen? No, communication cannot happen. So, we can say that communication is failure. Let's go to the case 2. Let's say this is you. You understand Hindi. And let's say this is your friend. Now your friend has also learned Hindi. Now can the communication happen? Yes, the communication can happen. So we can say that communication is successful in this case. Let's go to the third case. Let's say this is you 
and you have learned the machine language and you are communicating with the computer in machine language itself can the computer understand your words yes it can understand therefore communication will be successful so what i mean to say is that for interacting with the computer directly co computer can understand only one language which is machine language so what we have learned in this session we learned the use of language language is used for communication we learned the concept of program that is a set of instruction then we learned the concept of programming then we learned about the types of computer language only the names we have learned in this session and we have discussed about machine language which is the only language that the, that a computer understands then finally we have seen the advantages and disadvantages of machine language i hope this session is clear and it was useful for you so based on this session i have framed certain questions so all of you are asked to your uh, answer these questions okay so i'll meet you in the next session with the other types of computer language